Welcome to another video from inzara.com. In this video, we are going to see some other use cases for our geographical heat map Excel templates. So we have several Excel templates which allow us to visualize the data geographically. And here are some examples. So we have country-based templates which allow you to visualize the data uh, which is available at a state level, for example, United States, Australia, Canada, or India. And we also have state Excel templates, which allow you to drill into by district. For example, the Tamil Nadu map, we can actually visualize the data, which is at a, a district level. So we have already seen some videos on how to use those templates, how we can customize it, how we can make it um, visualize our own data very, very quickly by just entering our data into the pre-built templates. Now, in this video, we're going to focus on some other ways that we can use the same templates and um, we can use the same framework that is present there, but then get it to do some other types of visualization for us. So specifically, we're going to talk about three use cases. The first one is how to make the entire map a single color. And uh, the second one is how we can group certain districts into regions and then color them differently. And then we can also see how we can play a quick find the district game. Uh, and I'm using district because I'm going to use the Tamil Nadu map to illustrate the features. But if you're using any of the country maps like the United States heat map, then you will be able to replace basically the district term with state because the concept will still apply to all the heat map templates that we have on inzara.com. Okay, the first one we're gonna do is to make the entire map into a single color. This is very, very straightforward. So since the data entered is by default as a population, it varies by district and that's why the colors are also spread throughout the state by different districts and different colors because they have different values. However, if you want everything to be in the same color, what we can do is change all the data values to a single number. And it could be anything, but I'm gonna just put one. And now everything is one, all the districts have the same value. So by default, it will choose this one because we say from one, use red color, so it becomes red. And these things don't apply anymore because all the districts have the same value. But you can also change the color here and say, I wanna show everything in green. So now the entire state will be in green. And in these cases, you don't want any comments maybe, and you can delete the comment. And you can just say, hey, this is not population by district. This is the state of Tamil Nadu. And so you now you can take an image or PDF of this which still will have the district outlines and the names, but it, it's all colored um, with a single color to illustrate the fact that this is one state, which is showing the outline of the districts. You can also choose not to you know, change the district name display if in case this is what you want to create. Okay, now this was straightforward. This is how you can create um, the entire map in a single color. Now let's move on to the second use case, which is how we can actually group them into regions. And in order to illustrate this, I've already saved some data in another sheet here. I'm just gonna copy and paste here, and I'll explain what this is actually doing. Okay, so here what is happening is all the districts in the Northern area, I have given them the value of one. For example, Chennai, Dharmapuri, Kanchipuram, you'll see that they all have one. Uh, all the districts in the east, um, sorry, the central are given the number two. Namakkal, Perambalur, they are given number two. And then all the districts in the um, eastern part are given number three, western part are given four, and then the southern part are given five. So I've, I've chosen to divide into five regions. And so in order to make them appear on the map in different colors, we have to give different data ranges and colors. Okay, so now what has happened is only these things are applicable and any district with a value one will be green, which is at the top, north, state, northern districts. 
Anything with number two would be brown, which is the central part of the state. And then anything with three will be orange, which is this part, which is on the east. And anything with four are on the um, west and they are pink. And then the, the southern states are given violet. And if you don't like these choices, you can change them to something else. Okay, so this is how we can change the appearance of the um, the colors on the map by basically grouping them into regions. And in, in also similarly, if you don't want the district names to appear, this is how you can quickly get that in there. Um, the data value does not really mean anything. So you would usually turn the data value to no, not to display them on the map because they don't really um, have anything that is meaningful because we just put one to five so that they can group it into five regions. Okay, so now that was use case number two. And in this case, we did Tamil Nadu regions. Okay, now the last, uh, the third use case is how we can actually play the or find the district kind of game. So in this case, what we're gonna do first is to make everything a zero, okay? So now everything is zero and uh, let's change this to zero, okay? And then anything which is one and we don't want any of these and Let's say gold and let's put this as gray. So basically I'm coloring the entire uh, thing in a lighter color or a, you know, this is the base color. And then now what we're gonna do is to maybe take a guess. We don't know which district is where, let's say. And in order to guess, for example, where is Tirchirapalli district? And we can take a guess. We can try to say where it is. And then you can reveal the answer by just typing one in that specific district value. So I'm gonna just type one and there you go. So this is where Tiruchirappalli is. And you can play the game, um, you know, any district, Ramanathapuram, where is it? There is it. So you can use it as a learning tool. You can use it in schools to, uh, to teach the location of each of the districts in a state. Um, and uh, you can also play it the reverse way and then just you know, show this uh, location first and ask what is the name of this district. And that is another way to play this game. And if you will put yes, then now the district names will appear and then you will um, put no, it disappears. Um, you can also make, you know, some additional formulas to make actually make it reveal only the name of the district that is one. So right now it, it, it shows all the districts names, but if you, if we add some formulas, then we can make it as though only the state, which is um, selected as one or Ramanathapuram here will have the district name displayed. That will actually be even more effective as a learning tool to teach um, the location of the different districts in a state. Okay, so now that was the third um, use case that we wanted to talk about. Now, if you find these templates useful and also these videos helpful, please uh, post them in the comments, like and share with your friends. Also subscribe to the channel to be notified of future new videos loaded to the channel. Now, you can apply all the methods that we talked about to other heat map templates as well. Um, if you want to download the specific Tamil Nadu heat map, uh, I will also put a link. I will also put a link to the, in general, to the heat map uh, Excel template from inzara.com. Uh, thank you very much for watching.